Hi everyone, it's Laura, and I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another episode of Nutrient of the Week. So this week we're going to be talking about iron. So let's get started. So first, what is iron and what does it do? So iron is found in hemoglobin, which is a protein that carries oxygen to our tissues. It's also found in myoglobin, which is a protein that carries oxygen to our muscles. In addition to that, it helps in cell function. It helps in growth and development, and it also helps create new hormones, which could be good or bad. <laughs> so people that need to be more intentional about making sure to consume adequate amounts of iron are pregnant women, lactating women, um, anyone with cancer, anyone with any type of GI disorder or recent GI surgery, anyone with any type of organ failure, whether it's heart, liver, kidney, whatever it may be. Um, also individuals who are vegan or vegetarian, arguably, and of course anyone who is iron deficient or has a history of iron deficiency. So how much iron do you need? So women ages 18 to 50 need 18 milligrams of iron per day. Men need eight milligrams. Women 50 or older need eight milligrams. Women who are pregnant need 27 milligrams, and women who are breastfeeding need nine milligrams. So there are two types of iron, heme iron, which is found in meat, poultry, and fish, and then non-heme iron, which is found in fruits, vegetables, beans, and whole grains. So heme iron is more readily absorbed than non-heme iron. About 14 to 18% of heme iron is absorbed. In regards to non-heme iron, approximately five to 12% is absorbed. So next I'm just going to give you some key points and suggestions if you're someone who's making sure to get adequate amounts of iron or if you're on iron supplementation. So number one, educate yourself on which foods are high in iron, which I'll get to in a minute. And then also consume your tea and coffee separate from those iron-rich foods. So say 30 minutes to an hour, do not consume tea and coffee with those foods. Next, vitamin C helps with the absorption of iron. So if you're taking an iron supplement or you're consuming iron-rich foods, then pair it with a food that's high in vitamin C, which are typically your fruits and your vegetables. Next, and this is just kind of an FYI, if you're someone who is supplementing with iron, Consuming greater than 45 milligrams of iron a day through supplementation has been shown to lead to constipation, bloating, gas, and any GI symptoms. So if you're someone who does start to experience those, then making sure to consume adequate amounts of fiber and drink plenty of water to avoid any of those GI symptoms. Some good sources of heme iron include oysters, beef liver, sardines, beef, chicken, tuna, and eggs. Some good sources of non-heme iron are fortified breakfast cereals, white beans, lentils, spinach, kidney beans, potatoes, cashews, rice, and broccoli. So I hope this video helped y'all out. If you have any questions or comments, I'm always here for y'all. Also, if you have any suggestions for future Nutrient of the Week videos, then leave those down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my website, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.